Good morning. It is Saturday, March 20th. Uh, welcome to our daily devotion. Um, appreciate those of you that continue to watch these devotions, those of you that share them. Uh, appreciate every single one of you. Um, we're in Matthew chapter 12. I'm going to read verse 33. Good morning, Grace. I'm going to read verse 33 where Jesus says, Make a tree good and its fruit will be good. Or make a tree bad, and its fruit will be bad. For a tree is recognized by its fruit. Now, we all know this. Come on, Anna. Come on, John. Uh, we all know. You, how do you know whether a tree is an apple tree? By the fruit it produces, right? It produces apples. How do you know if it's an orange tree? It produces oranges. Uh, says So you'll know a true Christian by the fruit that they produce. Uh, and Matthew said, we, 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 we read earlier in Matthew 7 in our, in our devotion, but let me read it again. It says this, Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, by their fruit, you will recognize them. Now, we're, I'm sure you're all aware of what the fruit is, but let me, let me read it again. We did a complete uh, series on this, each one, but I'll just, I'll, I'll go through them. It says you're, that, you're, that if you're a Christian, you should be producing these fruits. So let's take a look at them. It says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So, if you're a true Christian, you should be producing these fruits. They're signs of the Holy Spirit living within you because they're the fruit of the Holy Spirit. So, how do you know if you have the Holy Spirit really in you? By the fruit that you produce. How do you know if it's really an apple tree? By the fruit that it produces. How do you know if you really have the Spirit in you? By the fruit that you produce. Uh, you can't generally produce these fruits on your own. You, you need the Holy Spirit within you to produce these on a, on a consistent basis. So how do you know if you really have the Spirit? Why well, produce these fruits? So it says this is a, the, the true test of whether someone's really a Christian or not. And it says this in 2 Corinthians 13, 5 and 6. Like, Examine yourselves to see whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves. Do you not realize that Christ Jesus is in you? Unless, of course, you fail the test. And I trust that you will discover that we have not failed the test. So, what Jesus, what God is telling us here is, let's take a little test. Let's take a test here. Morning, Marcy. Let's take a test to find out. Now, I, I'm convinced that every one of you, I see your names watching this. But we never know who else is watching these videos to to but it's good for all of us at some point to to take this a self-evaluation of of our lives to see whether we're producing this fruit of the holy spirit that we should be producing as christians the first one is love you all know that word i've taught you so many times that, that word means agape agape is literally given expecting nothing in return it's an unconditional love. It's it's like okay, I'll give to you, but you need to do this. It's just no, you just you just choose to give unconditionally, irregardless. Uh, agape is the ability to love even the, your enemies, even to love those that hurt you. Now, can someone without the Holy Spirit do that? Think of that. Can someone without the Holy Spirit actually love? Give unconditionally, give expecting nothing in return to someone that hurt them. Someone hurt them to their enemies, to those that consider them their enemy. You could only, there's only, you can do it with, with, through the Holy Spirit within you. So that's a sign, that's a fruit of the Holy Spirit. If you're able to do that, it shows that the Holy Spirit is within you. And then there's joy. Uh, if you, if you, have, truly have the Holy Spirit, you should have joy in your life. How much joy do you have in your life? Peace, you should have peace.
peace in your life. You should constantly have peace. No matter what happens in your life, you should find peace with it. Doesn't mean you have it instantly. You all heard of my video that I went through here this past week on Tuesday, where where I just felt like, whoa, got hit by a by a bomb. But God still gave me peace through all of that. Still an incredible peace. You can't have that just on your own. That only comes from the Holy Spirit within you. Patience, to be able to, to, to have patience, to be able to wait on the Lord, to have kindness, to be kind to people, goodness, to be good to people, faithfulness, to be faithful to people. Uh, some of you I look at here have been, Anna, you were married to Al for, for a long, long time. John, you were married to your wife for a long, long time. Uh, that's faithfulness, gentleness, and then self-control. Being able to con just self-control is literally be having the ability to control yourself. These are all fruits of the Holy Spirit. It proves whether the Holy Spirit is in you. So I guess the question is, how did you do in this little test, this little examination? How did you do with each of them? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. As, as it says here in a second, I trust you all pass the test. But let's let's take another little test now. Let's take another little one here from Galatians. Because uh, this is the, the counter to the fruits of the Spirit. That This is like the opposites. It's like the fruit is good and this is bad. The... It's like black and white, the, the, the exact opposites of one another. Let, let's let's take a look at at the, at the at the what else Galatians says is a sinful nature. It says the acts of the sinful nature are obvious: sexual immorality, impurity, debauchery. Debauchery means just continuing to do the same things over and over and over. Idolatry, witchcraft. Hatred, discord, disunity, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions. Dissension is not getting along with one another. Factions is making sides, this side against that side. Envy, drunkenness, literally getting drunk, drink until you get drunk. Orgies and the like. It says, I warn you as I did before that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. Now, again, we have to be careful. It says, those who live like this, those who repeatedly do these things, not whether you ever got drunk one time and now you feel like you're condemned. It's those who repeatedly do these things, those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. So, I guess I can ask, how did you do in that? self-examination. We as Christians, we as Christians should should hardly ever hardly ever hardly ever show the 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 fruit of our sinful nature. We should hardly ever show that. People people should not see us drunk. People should not see us envying one another. People should not see us in sexual immorality. People should not see us uh, choosing sides, a side against that side. They should not see that among us. What they should see among us, Christians, is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Let me read it again. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Those are the things that we as Christians should be producing. That should be our tree. That should be our tree. And everybody, just like you see it, uh, an orange tree with oranges all over, you know it's an orange tree. So when you see a, a, a Christian with all these fruits oozing out of them, you know they're a Christian. By their, by their fruits, you shall know them. So let me read again the, the scripture that we, that we read this morning that Jesus tells us. It says, make a tree good and its fruit will be good. Make a tree bad, and its fruit will be bad. For a tree is recognized by its fruit. 
I hope they recognize you as a Christian by the fruit you produce. Amen. Hey, thanks for joining. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Uh, for those of you committed to this, uh, many, most of you are. I will see you next Monday at, uh, at 8 o'clock. Uh, tomorrow, of course, is our, uh, is our Sunday message at 10 o'clock and the children's message at 11 o'clock. I hope to see many of you then. Um, this Sunday also, uh, they're, they're, we're going to meet at the park. At, uh, I'll be sharing that tomorrow again. We'll be meeting at the park at 2 o'clock at Heritage Park on Bloomfield across from Artesia High, or Cerritos High School. Uh, we're going to pray for me and for Collision Church. So hope that some of you can join us there. Uh, God bless you. Have a great day. And if this meant something to you, please share it. See you Monday.